In this presentation, we will look at table builder data sets for the 2018-19 National Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Health Survey, or NatSize, and the 2021 Census of Population and Housing, and the main differences to be aware of. What is Table Builder? Table Builder is a free online data tool that allows users to access a broad range of ABS data sets in the form of data tables demonstrating ABS's commitment to making data available and accessible to the community and our stakeholders. It allows for quick, simple and comprehensive data access, which can be used by data novices and statisticians alike. Available data sets include the last four censuses, several Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander surveys, plus a wide range of other ABS collections. This presentation will focus on the 2018-19 NAT size and the 2021 census, but the same principles generally apply for creating tables using other collections. There are two main ways to access Table Builder from the ABS website homepage. Click on the search box on the top banner and then type Table Builder. Or, as we will use in this presentation, Go to the footer of the homepage and click on the Microdata and Table Builder link. Once you have clicked on the Microdata and Table Builder link, click on the Table Builder box, then log into Table Builder. If you are new to Table Builder, click Register to set up your account. The QR code displayed on screen will take you to the registration page on the ABS website. New users should sign up for Table Builder via the Registration Centre where they will automatically be granted access to Census Basic Offerings and Businesses in Australia. Users who are attached to an organisation will be eligible to access Census Pro and other survey offerings. Users who sign up for Table Builder via the Registration Centre using their organisation email domain will automatically be joined to their organisation's registered account to provide further accesses. To register your organisation, please email the Table Builder support team at microdata.access at abs.gov.au. This slide shows where the 2018-19 NAT size and 2021 census data sets are located within Table Builder. The 2018-19 NAT size data set can be found within the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Peoples folder. The census is organised by each census year then within each year, the data sets are available for Table Builder Basic, Pro and Homelessness Estimates. Census Table Builder Basic contains broader topics or data sets that contain predefined tables. These contain variables relating to the topic. If the predefined tables are not required, then double clicking on any of the data sets will open a table view where you can create your own table with the available data items. Be mindful of which data set is selected as this will impact what variables can be used. Predefined tables are not available for any of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander survey data sets. Table Builder allows users to create their own grouping of categories within a variable. These are called custom data and sometimes are referred to as recodes. Custom groups can be saved in Table Builder or downloaded and shared with other users for uploading. Custom data is useful for creating unique groupings such as age groups or loading updated geographical boundaries. Custom recodes are created using the blue Custom Data button located in the bottom left-hand corner of the Table View screen and will be shown in the Census Table Builder demonstration. The exception to this is creating custom age groupings in the 2018-19 NAT size Table Builder, where they are created using a custom range located under the Summation Options folder, then Person Level, then Demographics. Once created, these are available to use in a table and sit within the folder called Ranges. Further instructions about how to create custom data is available in the Table Builder section of the ABS website. There are several differences between the NAT size and census data collections. 
Data collected from the NatSize and Census are not comparable due to differences in their scope and design. In the NatSize, only part of the total Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander population is approached. As only a sample of people were surveyed, their results are converted into estimates for the whole population. This process is called weighting. As a result, surveys are subject to a degree of sampling error. In the census, all people present on census night are approached, so there is no weighting required and no sample error involved. There is also a difference in the level of geography at which data from these collections are available. The NatSize was designed to produce reliable estimates for the whole of Australia, for each state and territory, and for remoteness areas. The sample for the 2018-19 NatSize was designed to achieve a relative standard error of less than 25% for key variables. Some lower level geographies are available, but they are limited. In the census, data for small geographic areas are available, assuming satisfactory response rates were achieved. Content between these two collections also differ. NatSize includes more detailed health-related topics, while the census covers broader themes, but has limited health-related information. There is a difference in available geography levels between the NatSize and census datasets. This is due to the difference in sample size. The overall coverage of the 2018-19 NatSize was approximately 33% of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander population, while the census aims to capture everyone. It is important to remember that data quality reduces as the geography area reduces. Adding multiple variables into a table for a small geographic area will impact data quality as the applicable population has decreased. Census geographical areas are available based on either place of usual residence, which is the place where a person usually lives, and place of enumeration, which is where a person was staying on census night. Within Table Builder Basic, the dwelling and family level datasets use place of enumeration, while the rest use place of usual residence. To provide a practical example of the geographic differences, we will use Alice Springs and the Indigenous Structure Geography. The Indigenous Structure is made up of three levels. The largest is Indigenous Regions, then Indigenous Areas, and the smallest Indigenous Locations. For the 2018-19 NAT size, only the Indigenous Regions level is available. For the 2021 Census, all levels of the Indigenous structure are available. While census data is available at smaller geographic levels, the available health data items, or variables, are not as detailed as the NAT size. For example, in relation to the topic of mental health conditions, the 2021 census only includes one data item, whether has a mental health condition, including depression or anxiety while the 2018-19 NAT size includes the following variables. Type of diagnosed mental health condition, whether currently has diagnosed mental health condition, whether ever been diagnosed with a mental health condition, and mental and behavioural problems. Users can access support for Table Builder by emailing microdata.access at abs.gov.au, but please look at the troubleshooting page in the Table Builder section of the ABS website beforehand for answers to some frequently asked questions. Other avenues of support include calling the National Information and Referral Service Team or emailing client services.